Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this episode, we will discuss Very interesting PNP Prince Edward Island The Prince Edward Island Provincial Nominee Program, Pay PNP is a popular immigration pathway for individuals who wish to settle in Prince Edward Island, Canada. Under this program, the province can nominate candidates for permanent residency to the federal government based on their skills, experience, and ability to contribute to the local economy. The PEI PNP offers several streams, including those targeted towards skilled workers, entrepreneurs, and international graduates. For those seeking a new life in Canada, the PEI PNP can provide a viable pathway to permanent residency and eventual citizenship in this article. We will delve into the key features of the PEI PNP, its eligibility requirements, and the application process. So, to get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end please hit, like, and, subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Prince Edward Island, PEI, which consists of the island itself and several surrounding isles, is Canada's smallest province. PEI is considered the birthplace of Canada. The Charlottetown Conference, which led to the country's formation took place in PEI in 1864. The island province is renowned not only for its lush farmland and beautiful coasts, but it is also home to a burgeoning economy centered around agriculture, tourism, and fishing. The PEI PNP is Prince Edward Island's provincial nominee program through this program. Prospective immigrants with the skills and experience targeted by the province may receive a Prince Edward Island provincial nomination certificate, after which they can apply for Canadian permanent residence with the Government of Canada. The Prince Edward Island provincial nominee program, Pay PNP launched in 2001 to attract and retain more immigrants to the province who can help address economic and labor market needs and to help achieve economic prosperity. The PEI PNP attracts immigrants with the skills, experience and education who are likely to establish themselves on the island thanks to the introduction of the PNP. The province is welcoming an increasing number of immigrants. PEI welcomes the most immigrants per capita in Canada prior to the pandemic. It had an immigration rate of about 1.6%, compared to about 0.9% nationally. The province has the highest newcomer intake as a share of population in Canada. The province has welcomed over 2,000 new immigrants every year since 2015, and is expected to continue to welcome an increasing number of immigrants. Prior to the launch of the PNP, the province would welcome less than 200 new immigrants per year. The province has been attracting more immigrants since the introduction of the PNP in 2001 as well as the Atlantic. Immigration pilot, AIP in 2017, the AIP allows employers in Canada's Atlantic provinces to hire foreign workers for positions that they were not able to fill locally. Canada's Atlantic provinces include New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia and PEI. Pay PNP has one enhanced category, the PEI PNP Express Entry category it also has two base categories, the Labor Impact and Business Impact categories. When a category is aligned with the Federal Express Entry System, it is enhanced. Canada uses the Express Entry System to manage permanent residence applications through Canada's main economic class immigration programs. If you are in the Express Entry Pool, you will be given a point score based on the Comprehensive Ranking System, CRS. Canada regularly holds Express Entry draws, where they invite the highest ranking candidates to apply for permanent residence. Once you are nominated through an enhanced provincial program, such as the PEI PNP Express Entry, you get an additional 600 CRS points this increase guarantees that you will get an invitation to apply. ITA for permanent residence in the next draw you also get your nomination through your express entry profile. Most immigration streams under PNPs are base streams this means that they are not aligned with the express entry system candidates, who get a provincial nomination need to apply directly to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. Prince Edward Island Immigration Categories if you wish to immigrate to PEI, then you have three options to choose from. 1. PEI PNP Express Entry 2. Labor Impact Category 3. Business Impact Category The PEI PNP Express Entry is for candidates who have a valid Express Entry profile, 
wish to live and work in Prince Edward Island, and have skills that match current identified labor market needs in the province. The labor impact category is for skilled workers, and international graduates who have the skills and experience needed in pays labor market this category is divided into three streams. A skilled worker stream. B critical worker stream. C international graduate stream. The business impact category is for people who want to invest in a PEI business. It allows you to live in PEI on a work permit to learn about the business you are investing in before receiving a provincial nomination. Now let's talk about first category PEI PNP Express Entry. Needs job offer? No. Application fee, 300 Canadian dollars. Processing time, 6 months. Minimum requirements. A must have an express entry profile. B must be eligible for one of the three main federal economic class immigration programs, Federal Skilled Worker Program, FSWP, Federal Skilled Trades Program, FSTP or the Canadian Experience Class, CEC. If you are a postgraduate work permit, PGWP holder or a spousal open work permit holder. A your PGWP must have at least four months validity at the time you submit your EOI. B must have studied outside of PEI, or be a spouse to someone who studied outside PEI. C must have at least nine months of work experience under a PEI employer. How it works. If you are satisfied that you meet the minimum requirements, the first step to apply for the PEI PNP Express entry is to create a profile in the Prince Edward Island Expression of Interest. EOI system when creating a profile, you will be asked multiple questions for which you must provide the correct information you are able to come back, and change the information provided at any time. Based on the information you provide in the EOI, you will be given a point score according to the selection system points grid. You can score a maximum of 100 points during regular draws. The province invites the highest scoring candidates to apply for a provincial nomination. You will receive an email notification if you are invited. You will be required to complete the application forms, and your employer must also complete the employer forms submit your application within 60 days if successful. You will receive a provincial nomination you must accept the nomination through your express entry account. You are likely going to receive an invitation to apply for permanent residence in the next express entry draw. Now let's talk about second category labor impact category. The labor impact category consists of three streams. A skilled worker stream. This stream is for workers who have been identified or hired by a PEI employer to apply to this stream. You must be either currently working in PEI, or have a job offer from a PEI employer eligible applicants will work in a skilled profession and possess relevant experience, and at least a post-secondary degree or diploma. Be critical worker stream. This stream is for workers who have already been hired by a PEI employer, and whose employer would like to sponsor them for permanent residence eligible applicants can work in a semi-skilled or unskilled profession. See International Graduate Stream. This stream is for recent graduates from recognized accredited Prince Edward Island universities and colleges. You must have already been hired by a PEI employer. Eligible applicants will work in a skilled profession in their field of study. Application fee, 300 Canadian dollars. Processing time, 6 months or less. Minimum requirements. One must be between 21 and 59 years old. Two must have a full-time permanent or at least two-year job offer from a PEI employer in an eligible position. Three must have enough money to settle in PEI. Four must have the intention to reside in PEI. 5 must meet the language requirements of Canadian Language Benchmark, CLB of 4. How it works. The first step is to make sure you are eligible for one of the labor impact streams once you're satisfied. Create and submit your expression of interest, EOI profile based on the information you provide in your EOI profile. You will be given a score based on the selection system points grid. PEI regularly hold provincial draws where they invite the highest scoring candidates to apply for a provincial nomination if you 
receive an invitation, you will have up to 60 days to submit your application and submit all the required supporting documents. If successful, you will receive a provincial nomination you can use your nomination certificate to submit a complete application for Canadian, Permanent Residence to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. Now let's talk about third category business impact category. The business impact category has one stream, the work permit stream. Work permit stream. This stream is for people who wish to invest in a PEI business they will be expected to begin working in Canada and learn about the business. While on a work permit after that they can apply for a PEI provincial nomination for permanent residence. Application fees, 10,000 Canadian dollars. If your application is declined or withdrawn before being interviewed, you will get a 7,500 Canadian dollars refund. Processing time, 6 months or less. Minimum requirements. One must be between 21 and 59 years old. Two must have a minimum net worth of 600,000 Canadian dollars. Three must have at least a secondary education. For must have transferable management skills or business ownership. Five must meet the minimum language requirements of CLB4. Six must intend to reside and work in PEI. Seven must actively manage the proposed business from within PEI. Eight your business must meet additional requirements. How it works. The first step is to make sure you are eligible for the work permit stream. After that, you need to create a profile to register your interest in the PEI expression of interest. EOI system you will need to provide some information while completing your profile your profile will stay active for 6 months. You are allowed to make changes to your profile after you complete your profile, but before you are invited to apply if you are successful, you will receive an invitation to apply on your email. The email will also include further instructions you'll have 60 days to submit your application. Complete the application package, submit all the required forms. Gather supporting documentation and make the 10,000 Canadian dollars application fee you can submit your application in person, by courier, or by mail. Here are the details. 1 Office of Immigration 294 Euston Street, 2nd Floor 3 P.O. Box 1176 For Charlottetown, P.E. 5 C1A7M8 if your application is approved, the Office of Immigration will invite you for an in-person interview to talk about your business proposal, and plan you'll then have to submit a signed performance agreement, after which you may receive a letter of support from PEI. You can use this letter to apply for a work permit with IRCC. Once you get your work permit, you're required to move to PEI and report to the PEI Office of Immigration within 30 days of arriving. You'll be assigned a settlement officer, who will help you with establishing and operating the business and will be in touch with you regularly for progress reports. If you meet the conditions of the performance agreement and other requirements, you will get nominated by PEI after that. You can apply for Canadian permanent residence with IRCC. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.